Alright, a very good evening to you and welcome to the O2 Arena here in London. And to the viewers watching live and exclusive on Sky Box Office HD and around the world, a very good evening to you. And we welcome you to this big night of boxing. This evening's kick brought to you by Frank Warren and sponsored by Hanseatic Planet Hollywood, the Earl of Sandwich and Lonsdale. The evening's are official for the Point of the Good Marketing Board of Control. The steward in charge is still London in the southern area. From All Hallows Kent, introducing Mr. Richie Daisy. All right, and here we go with a special attraction to the middleweight division. We are scheduled eight rounds of boxing. In case you are on my left, hiding out of the red corner, wearing black coats with silver trim, weighing in at eight stones, six pounds to eleven ounces. We are going to make weight in six stones and one draw. He has four weights coming by the way. yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands now, good luck to you both. Oh, well, you know, it's a big fight when you hear the uh, tones of Jimmy Lennon Jr. He was the man doing the introductions there for Billy Joe Saunders against Kevin Hammond. This fight scheduled for eight rounds here at the O2. And uh, it's taking place a couple of hours before the, uh, the main event. We've got a decent crowd in, though. Irina is about half full, and Billy Joe Saunders looking to add to his eight professional wins, five of them by stoppage. And he's looked good as a pro. Fights a man tonight with a winning record, Kevin Hammond. He's uh, won eight fights, six losses, one draw. So it might give Billy Joe Saunders a bit of a test tonight, but the traveller from uh, Hartford is the... Uh, clear favourite going into this one and looking to move on to title fights really after this one Colin Hart joins me ringside Colin Billy Joe it's been pretty impressive hasn't he so far as a pro yes and it's good to see that he seems to have overcome all his injury problems and that means he can fight more regularly he's behind his two Olympic uh, teammates um, James DeGale and uh, Frankie Gavin, although Gavin, of course, didn't fight in the Olympics because of a weight problem. But he's fallen behind them, and I know he's anxious to catch them up. Uh, both of them have uh, fought for titles. And DeGale, of course, is on the fringe of big things. A stop start year last year for uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Just fought twice, once in May, once in December. He was out for a long time with a, with a hand injury. This will be his... Um, third fight tonight in six months or so back into action he's looked good in this first round a minute and a half gone it's been one-way traffic so far and Saunders targeting both the, uh, the head and body of uh, Kevin Hammond well and uh, Hammond's just looking a bit marked up a bit red in the face yeah <coughs> Hammond is being hammered he's, uh, at the moment. yeah Joe's too quick for him punches far too quick uh, for Hammond uh, ship, already shipped quite a considerable amount of punishment. So Joe got through with a very good left uppercut. Southpaw, of course. Well, just too good at the moment, Billy Joe Saunders. Still pretty young as well. He went to the Olympics, of course, as a, as a teenager, 18-year-old. 
So time is uh, well and truly on his side. Back comes Hammond, though. First positive action from him in this fight. 30 seconds left of the uh, first round. Nice body shot there from Billy Joe Saunders. Good uh, four-punch combination there. Double jab and then a left hand from Saunders. Just started into the gloves of Hammond. Now the body shots, though. Not much coming back from Hammond. Might just um, try to get himself into the fight. A man from Lincoln. No, I think Hammond's a bit out of his league against uh, Billy Joe. He doesn't seem to know where the punches are coming from. Well, that was an excellent opening round from Billy Joe Saunders. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I mean, if it goes on uh, like this, it, this obviously is not going to last too long. Uh, I don't know what Hammond has got to stop the flow of, of uh, punches getting through his guard. He's a bit static. Um, and, of course, when you get a quick puncher like uh, Billy Joe, that's the worst thing you need to be is static. I don't know if Hammond's plan here was to... Um, Try and get himself into the fight, maybe just ride out the uh, the early storm in the first round. And Billy Joe Saunders very much on top. We're watching there some of the body shots. A great left hand from uh, Saunders to the body. He was um, nominated in the last um, round of um, British Boxing Board of Control notices. Billy Joe Saunders for uh, an English super middleweight title fight against Paul David, a man who was uh, lined up to fight James DeGale. Uh, Paul Smith, I beg your pardon, um, just before Christmas, and that fight fell through when uh, when Smith and DeGale was made. It might be an interesting test then for uh, for Billy Joe. Although whether he fights at super middle or middleweight, I'm not sure. He's well inside. He's a bit short for super middle. He was, and he was um, he was well inside uh, super middle tonight as well. I would have thought he could get down to middle or even light middle, Colin. Well, <coughs> I think that might be asking a bit. I'm certainly middleweight. I wouldn't like to see him fight at two. I don't think he's big enough. There's nothing wrong with the middleweight division. No, and he looks at he's a size below um, De Gale, isn't he? Oh, good body shots these from uh, Billy Joe Saunders. <coughs> I'm afraid this is target practice for Billy Joe. So he looks in good shape tonight Billy Joe Saunders sometimes in the past he's not looked in the uh, in the greatest of Nick but he looks really uh, he's trained hard for this one he really does look good when he's been in shape before he's, he's generally performed in the his five stoppages have all come in the second round so if he's going to get rid of Hammond, he, he might do it in this one. This, of course, scheduled for eight rounds. It's the uh, the referee, uh, Richie Davis, is the man doing the scoring. As Colin said, though, if uh, Billy Joe Saunders keeps up this, the uh, referee might not be needed. He will be needed, but he'll be That's needed it. in a different way <laughs> to stop poor old Hammond taking too many shots. Now Billy Joe Saunders beginning to unload now. Hammond is trapped on the ropes. He's not taking too many flush but he's not fighting back no is he's he? not good body shot that from Saunders trying to get Hammond's hands down looks very relaxed in there Billy Joe of course got a very experienced corner as well Jimmy Tibbs the, uh, the man looking after him He looks unnatural, doesn't he, Colin? Yes, he's, you know, if you remember uh, when we first saw his first pro fight after the... Oh, it's good shots, these from um, Billy Joe Saunders. Body shots. And Hammond um, takes a knee, counts at seven. He's going to be all right. He turns to his corner. This, um, maybe another second round win here for Billy Joe Saunders. Good body shot again. It was a long right hand to the body. Down goes Hammond. Looks at his corner. Bell goes, shakes his head. It's all over. All over. Richie Davis says, "I've seen enough." And uh, well, the body language said it all, really, didn't it? From from yeah, Kevin. Yeah, I mean, he was taking non-stop punishment. He had no answer to uh, Billy Joe, um, and you know, it upset some of the crowd. 
that he shopped, uh, stopped it. They were probably filled it stopped prematurely, but it was only in for more of the same in the third round. He had no answer to uh, Saunders, and uh, compassionately, Richie Davis has waved it off. So, good win that for, uh, for Billy Joe. He's uh, quite remarkable, really. He's had um, six stoppage wins. All of them have um, come in the second round. So, we'll see uh, as he likes that, that second session. He did tonight with um, a good stoppage over Kevin Hammond. Here's the replay of the two knockdowns, I think. Both from body shots. Yeah, beautiful right hand to the body there from um, Saunders. One of those uh, delayed reaction ones. Makes you wince when you see that, yeah, doesn't it? Does. it? Was a, the uppercut to follow, but it was the um, the body shot. Yeah, it took really, all the uh, wind out of him, yeah, didn't it? The wind out of, um, of uh, Hammond. No, I was saying when the ter first it, Oh, yes, here's the other here's one. A, here's a second knockdown, yeah. I think. Oof. Right hand again to the body. Right under the short ribs. Beautiful I, shot. I'd say when he first turned pro, we said that out of the three of them, he looked like he had the uh, style to be a very good pro. Of course, Gavin and Degas have come on a, a lot since those days. And they all made their pro debut on the same bill. With the opponent in no condition to continue, he is the winner, and he is still undefeated, Billy Joe Saunders. So, win number nine for Billy Joe Saunders. That second round stoppage over Kevin Hammond. He looks like a man destined for... Body punching. Looks like a man destined for bigger things, Billy Joe Saunders, and a possible title shot later this year. He wants to uh, catch up with... James DeGale and Frankie Gavin. He looks well on course to do that. He was impressive tonight with that victory over Kevin Hammond.